Uh, I'm kind of thinking Sweden might actually try to attack us, which could be a problem. I'm hoping they don't. If they That would be bad. That would be really bad for us. We'll lose a lot of units, and we'll lose a lot of trade. That'll ultimately weaken us in our position in the world, so we can't... We don't really want it to happen, Sweden. I don't know why you want war so badly. I don't get it. I don't get... Well, I mean, I get it. I mean, don't get me wrong. We are Gandhi, after all. You understand. But the part we don't understand is why you want to go to war with Gandhi. That's like signing a death sentence. You're asking to be exterminated. Do you want to be exterminated? Apparently, he, pro he probably does. Probably does. He's declined himself so far. His position in government has declined so far to the point that he has resigned to what is essentially diplomatic suicide. Oh, poor Sweden. Oh, don't worry, Sweden. Once we finish with Egypt, we'll come and fix your problems. We'll destroy your cities. Your people will be happy again because burning down and executing hundreds of people apparently lightens the mood a whole bunch. And then we'll take your capital and we'll be fine. It will be fine. We'll relieve you of the plague that is Gustavus Adolphus and install the true God King leader of humanity. Mahatnas Gandhi. It'll be great. Trust me, Swedes. You'll love it. Gandhi's a great guy. He's a great guy. You love him, right? And you gotta love him. I mean, it's required by literally universal law. If you don't love him, you get fucking killed. This is the world that's coming for you, assholes, and you better like it. Uh, we could probably start building up some extra units. I think I'm just going to send my artillery overseas, and I'm probably going to send these musketeers overseas as well. I do need to keep a standing army at home, though. I am going to continue reinforcing myself with some more units regardless to that point, however. So I'm going to probably build up just a few more riflemen. Just a few more riflemen wouldn't hurt. It's just a few. I don't think we'll need the artillery here, so they're going overseas... Uh, the Musketeers, they make up a large portion of our army right now, actually. And are pretty much... Pretty much our only line of defense against uh, Swedish invasion. So we kind of need to keep the Musketeers here, or at least some of them. We'll probably we'll probably have to split this army in half and send half of it overseas and keep half of it here. I am hoping... Honestly hoping that Arhis over here, Copenhagen, whoever these guys are, the Danes... I'm honestly hoping that they hold their ground and stay true to the alliance they allegedly swore to me. The fiality they swore to me. To, to Gandhi himself. Because if they don't, well, you know, you're still going to get exterminated, Denmark. But it might get exterminated a little slower. Like, maybe last. You know, I'm just saying. But, you know, last is better than getting exterminated first. I mean, come on, you got to admit that that's at least true. Being killed last is better than being killed first. Yeah, these guys really want it. They really want to die. I moved my army out, and they're still shoving their ass on my border. This is unacceptable behavior. This is unacceptable behavior, Sweden. You're about to feel the wrath of Gandhi if you don't back off soon. I can't believe these fuckers would do that. Look at them. Look at these fucks. What is this? Trying to display your strength to me, to Gandhi? Display your worth? You should know you have no worth in the eyes of the God King Gandhi himself, who has ruled the world for hundreds of thousands of years. Even though that's not possible, I mean, and we were kind of fearing invasion 24-7 for the first half of the game, and that's all over now! None of that matters. Gandhi has achieved his true form, and you will not oppose him. For if you do, opposition means death. It's very possible they're going to attack Tetna Chitlin. Ugh, fuck. See, it's, di it's diplomatic things like this which make it really fucking hard. Because I don't want to attack you. I really don't. Not right now, at least. I'd much rather attack someone else, but... You know, you're kind of forcing my hand a bit. Now this guy, this guy knows what's good for him. 
Yeah, Bluetooth. Have some of that shit. Yeah, you you rub that beard inquisitively. Rub it. Rub it as you take my cotton. Uh, someone has completed the larvae. Or, uh, probably just butchered that, by the way. In fact, I'm almost certain that I butchered that. In fact, it was him. Wait, what the fuck? Denmark, you know, you do know that you know you're a military faction. You're you're literally Vikings. Oh god, am I knights? Oh shit, barbs! I didn't even see the barbs. We gotta get out of here. Well, the knight's probably dead. I don't fucking care. Hey, where are you going? No, you're not supposed to be up there, you fucker. Get back down. Really? Are you trying to start a war? Are you fucking trying to start a war here? I mean, these guys certainly look like they're trying to. Okay, here we go. I'm going to send this forward here. Okay, we're going to probably give you this. Ah, great. Let's see. Um, probably a good idea to go with a medic, to be honest with you. Probably a good idea. I'm going to send you guys forward here to the coastline. I send you up here like this. Ah, uh, these Swedes. They're really pissing me off. I I'm almost tempted to have to attack them, which is the problem. I I'm really considering just launching an invasion. I mean, we already scouted their territory. The problem is I don't know how good these units are. It doesn't show me the combat. Oh, they did they just declare on me? Because they're inside my border, and to my knowledge, they don't have open border access. I suppose we'll find out. No, they didn't declare. Do we have open borders somehow? I mean, I know we registered an open borders deal, but I thought that ended. They should not be able to be in my territory. I need to actually check my, um, my trade here. Trade route overview. Not trade routes. Fuck me. Uh, how do I even find this shit? Diplomacy overview. Here we go. Uh, what do, what do we have going on? Deal history. Uh, we have... Oh, yes, we do have open borders, actually. Um, we have it for... Until... Turn 290... No. It doesn't tell us when it ends, actually. Oh, no, yes, it does. It ends in 322, so we still have an open borders deal. Okay, so... Whew, I thought he declared war and it didn't give me an alert. I was going to say, that, that would be bullshit. That would be so bullshit if, it decla if he declared war on me and the game didn't even bother to tell me. I'm just saying. These guys over here are also pretty freaking dangerous. They're pretty freaking dangerous. I don't know if I trust them. I don't know who to trust anymore, I'll be honest with you. I really don't. This place has become suddenly very scary. We're not the only army in the world anymore. I'm gonna get a, an academy, actually, because that sounds probably like a good idea. Next turn we'll have another frigate so we can begin getting more and more escorts of our fleets and we're actually gonna prob I should probably send my guys to the other coast over here. Because this is the area we're gonna be attacking from. We're gonna be launching from here, from Rome, going overseas all the way up to Machu, it's gonna be great. Uh, I always forget that this world is round. Like, Gandhi's like a flat earther. He always forgets that the earth is round, he never considers the possibility, but no, it is round. It is round, and we should be attacking from that direction, not sailing across the entire continent to get over there. Ah, oh, yes, we've entered the modern era. Uh, apparently in the modern era, we have shield technology that encompasses our buildings, because that makes sense, right? And, of course, in the modern era, we are still using frigates, of all things. Ah, uh, fuck me. The Civilization Universe, guys. The Civilization Universe. Oh, fuck. We don't have any iron. It's because of that deal we have going on right now with fucking, um... The fucking Sweden. We're actually giving them a bunch of iron. 
In fact, that iron might have been used to upgrade there um, to the Caroline, depending. It's very possible. It'd be unfortunate if that were the case. Though these units did start appearing after we gave them iron. Well, here's the thing, you fuckers. I'm also gonna upgrade these guys and just, you know, get them to their next to their next bloody form. Because we might as well. I think they actually keep their buff anyway, don't they? No. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Those guys needed to be upgraded. They were getting outdated in terms of technology. I'm sure that special units can only be carried so far until, you know, ultimately you need to replace them. You take the barbs out. If you set up a citadel there, it's going to be war. I'm just saying, this this will be an immediate war if you set up a citadel there. I will march in there, I will burn your cities to the ground, and I will salt them. I will salt the bodies when I'm done, just to prevent the vengeful spirits from coming after me. I do not like this, Sweden. I did not like this at all, so I apparently have ideologies now, so I should pro I'm probably about to be forced to choose, and unfortunately, as you likely know, it's not gonna be an easy choice, because I have to choose between autocracy, freedom, and order. Hey, freedom would be the best way to prevent civil unrest, because I'm actually the least happy country in the world, and the moment that I choose something, uh, you know, an ideology that is winning, or, sorry, that is losing, I'm gonna start getting people that try to leave my ideology. And unfortunately, Egypt's probably, I think, the happiest nation on Earth. Or one of the happiest nations on Earth. Yes, it is the happiest nation on Earth. So they will definitely 100% be influential over us, which is not good. So we kind of actually have to, we ha kind of have to adopt freedom if we don't want to immediately lose the game because we get, like, minus 40 fucking uh, civil unrest, which, by the way, is bullshit. Minus 40 civil unrest. Fuck off! That's literally the worst. I mean, fine, doesn't matter. We're gonna go with freedom. I mean, freedom's not the worst 